Well, Cheesecake May is back at Bread's Bakery, featuring four Israeli-style variations of the iconic dessert. Let's welcome Edan Leshnik, head pastry chef at Bread's Bakery. Thank you for being here again. Thank you. Thank you for <laughs> inviting us. So tell us, first of all, what is Cheesecake May? So Cheesecake May was an idea for us to, first of all, play around with anything cheese and sweet. Mm -hmm. Or savory, but in this case, sweet. Um, so we kind of wanted to just be able to use our those creative juices um, and play around with different variations on cheesecake. Um, so we have our cheesecake babka, for example, mm -hmm. which a take on our classic chocolate babka. Um, we have our classic cheesecake. We have a, a halva cheesecake and a chocolate cheesecake and pavlova. Which uh, is this a, one right here? Yeah, that one has like a mascarpone kind of Ooh. filling in there and some fresh fruit. This looks great. And that's only available for this month? Only for this month. Okay. Yes. So we got a week uh, long to, to grab them before the... Uh, few more days. Yeah. Well, this is great because these these little guys, you don't sell at your place, but you're this is something that people can do at home. Right. So I kind of wanted to show the variations and the, the amount of creativity that you can go with, mm -hmm. with just some basic ingredients. Mm -hmm. um, so today... As opposed to the many times that we're here, I'm going to let you work. Okay, oh, um, fantastic. Yes, so <laughs> I kind of have all these ingredients mm -hmm. um, okay. arrayed. So I'll start off, for, for example, with a little bit of um, crumble, and this is a baked uh, streusel. Mm -hmm. um, so just you know whatever your heart desires in this okay. case. Now I have a cheesecake mousse. Now this is based on a fromage blanc, which is a white uh, French cheese, mm. um, lower in fat so that it elevates it and very, very light. Okay. So what I can do is I just pipe a little bit right in there mm -hmm. and pretty much just, you know, as much as you want. Just kind of go along with that, so. Go ahead, Cindy. Okay, this here we go. go. <laughs> this is, it seems like something that would be really fun to do with the kids. Yes, or by yourself. I mean, I'm not just. <laughs> right. <laughs> And this is great because you can just get these mason jars at any store. Right. Okay. Um, so I also made some rhubarb jam, and I mentioned to you that mm -hmm. this one has thyme in it. Mm -hmm. I really think that herbs go really well with fruit. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you can pipe a little bit of rhubarb jam right in there. You can even hide it if you don't want to see it. Mm -hmm. Although it is pretty and it has a nice color. It is. Okay. You got a little bit of rhubarb stuck in there. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Let's fix that. Okay. I was asking you before we went on how you're not like 500 pounds <laughs> in the job that you have. And I just kind of mentioned that we try to we try to work as fast as we can yeah. to burn okay. those calories off. Yeah, okay. Um, so we also have some fresh strawberries, so you can just arrange them right in okay. the jar as many as you'd like. Again, you know, there's no right or wrong here. And you can put. I mean, if you don't like strawberries, you could do blueberry. You can mm -hmm. do whatever you want. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. Um, I have some. So let's finish off with some more of the mousse. So in this case, I'm just going to pipe off just like that. There and the go. recipe for this is online. People yes. People want to go find it. Yes, and we have all the elements in there, so you can really get creative with it. Mm -hmm. um, and now, mm -hmm. for the topping, I don't know, I mean, it's up to you. I, pref I prefer the shaved janduya, which is a milk chocolate base with hazelnuts. Um, I think I prefer yeah. It's kind of like well. a Nutella almost. But no copying. Oh. <laughs> And then so what else? What nice. else? Are yeah, these so hazelnuts? Have, these or? are candied hazelnuts, uh, whole hazelnuts. I, I like prefer them whole like that. Yes. Um, we have some um, chocolate pearls, some <gasps> crunched up pistachios. Yeah, I was going to say pistachios yeah. that you wouldn't really think of using. A pistachio, strawberry. Yeah. Oh, well, that's true. <laughs> this and is going to be the just best cheesecake I've ever had. Yeah, it's, it's do it got yourself all those thing. layers and, there. And then you don't have to, you don't have to um, bake it or anything, no, right? No, so this is good to go. Okay. Uh, good to eat. So, so let's try let's it, Cindy. Test okay. your creations. <laughs> <laughs> mm. How's delicious. It? Yeah? It's delicious. Yeah. It's really good. good. If people are making cheesecake at home, what's one thing that they should keep in mind that people mess up, right. do you think? I always find that people over mix the cheese fillings mm. and they end up releasing a lot of water. Mm -hmm. And it, it's not what you want with a cheesecake. You want it to be light and fluffy. So under mix or, you know, just, you know, hold off the temp temptation to keep paddling it right. or keep mixing it or keep, you know, touching it. All right. Advice. Can I have some uh, of that babka? Of course. <laughs> Thank you. Thank there you. you know, we so appreciate Thanks. when you come. Oh, I love being here. Thank you. <laughs> we appreciate it. And there is still plenty of time to get some of these delicious desserts. Cheesecake May at Bread's Bakery ends on Friday. For more information, go to CBSNewYork.com. We'll be right back.